So yeah. what about martial arts? Martial artists. Uh, Bruce Lee, I mean, I gotta go there. You know what I'm saying? Number one, right? Uh, right. Uh, Jet Li. Uh, uh, that's another one. Jim yeah. Kelly. Okay. Uh, Bolo. <laughs> uh, Bolo. Everybody uh, loves Bolo, man. Michael Jai White. Yep. Gotta go there again. He got swagger. Uh, Brandon Lee. Brandon Lee was nasty. Yeah. Uh, rest in peace. I, I can, rest in peace. I can't remember the film, but he did this. Not the one. crow. No, nah, it wasn't the crow. It was when he had his suit and he was uh, fighting in the club. You remember that one? His oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He was, he was a little heavy in that movie. Yeah. Just a little, but he, he was still kicking. Kick he had his suit. He was his squad. It was real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Suit. And uh, it, was, it was one part where they, uh, they were shooting down. Yeah. And he went under the table. Right. He slid under the table. Did a kick, right, right. pushed the table up and knocked it over. It was just the way he did it, though, right, was right. just, it was right. slick, man. I can't right. think of that movie right. offhand, but I'm quite sure some of the fans can. So, if you know what comment, please. Exactly, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right, let's go with another one. Another yeah. um, oh, here we go. Back to Dance Food. When you wrote this movie, did you know that you were going to be the good guy and the bad guy of them? <laughs> uh, Sorry, I gave a little bit of a movie, but it's obvious. Okay, it's it's obvious. obvious. Yeah, they know. It's yeah. obvious. It's obvious. Um, when I when I wrote the film, yes, in the beginning, I, I really want to do that because um, I love the, uh, the Austin Powers movies. Right, right, right. And I love the uh, Eddie Murphy, you know, movies, Nutty Professor, and all exactly. that. Exactly. And uh, on my sketch show and all that, on Nickelodeon, I played so many different characters, and I wanted to give that back. Where I was like, okay, I like this character. I actually play like four characters in the movie. Oh, yeah. Really? It's like bananas. Oh, it's bananas. Okay. Okay. But um, yeah, I definitely knew about that when I was writing it. And then it went through a couple of processes because when I was pitching it, mm -hmm. um, you know, some people were like, well, you don't play both roles. Maybe you should have somebody play the enemy and things like right, that. But right. when we got what said, so it was like, nah, go back to the original. Right. You play Pretty Eye Willie. Pretty Eye Willie is the villain in this film. <laughs> and Pretty Eye Willie is like, man, he's like, Prince, <laughs> show enough. Uh, man, and uh, not Bishop. No, not Bishop, not Bishop. It's like Prince and show enough mixed together. And what was uh, Martin's character when he was a cop tool character? Uh, Martin oh. was uh, some dragon. What yeah, yeah, yeah. was some dragon? It's like all of them three mixed up together. It's just, and it was, he's a crazy character. Right, right. Yeah, I believe he's a crazy character. He got one eye. And only one eye is pretty. It's all mascara. <laughs> it's, it's wild. Yeah, yeah. Speaking yeah. of characters uh, and the type of characters you just named out, uh, what was your impression on Black Dynamite? Wow, Black Dynamite was hot. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. My right. favorite character in Black Dynamite uh, would have to be Tommy Davidson. Yeah. Because uh, Tommy Davidson is hilarious. Uh, mm -hmm. Another great comedian. He could have won that list too as well. Uh, I had a pleasure of meeting him as well, and he's in dance with. Oh, sweet! Yes, he is. Sweet. Uh, okay. He, he, play, he plays a kung fu cracker. Uh, I was thinking. I was. I was. Thinking, <laughs> I felt like that hasn't happened in kung fu movies, right. you know? and I felt like you know, kung fu like crackheads have such like energy, in fact, and I was like, just imagine how funny it would be if a uh, crackhead. Knew some kung fu. Right, that's right. how we came yeah. up with that. You know what oh, I mean? that is that's funny, true. man. <laughs> I can't wait to see that. Dude. Oh yeah, man, it's funny. Tell okay. Me why. All right. Um, here's a question. Okay. Um, for dance food in the movie, who did you come up with the choreography? Who came up with the choreography in the movie? Because that's always important. Yeah, in the kung fu film. To me, that uh, it was very, very important in this film that. Uh, Martial arts looks real. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean, and that, that was the thing to me. I wanted it to look real, and I wanted it to actually be fighting. You right. know, uh, the, the film when you see it, it's it's a mixture between like Purple Rain because I love that movie. Yeah. It has course. Purple Rain in there, and uh, it definitely has Last Dragon in right. there as well. Right. Uh, a little bit of the Karate Kid is in there as well. Okay. Uh, mixed in there, and uh, I really wanted to like the dancing had to be on point but the fighting had to be on point too. So what I did was I reached out to Larnell Stoll, who did this short that was just amazing that I okay. saw. Uh, he, was, he was pitching it to Sticky Fingers because I had been a movie with Sticky at the time. Yeah. And uh, I saw the short and I was like, what? Like the action in it is crazy. And now right. Larnell is like doing stunt work for 
Thundercats and you know, Mortal Kombat shorts and you know, Blood and Bone. He was uh, one he's of the blowing up choreographers on that. And so uh, he's an amazing dude. And uh, Precious Jenkins, who was also on on uh, Dance School as well, they actually taught me uh, like real like some serious like choreography, fighting moves right. to the point where it's like if I just missed by one little you know step, I'd have got knocked out. Yeah, some yeah, of the guys yeah. I was fighting was like. Yeah. Two times my size, right, muscles right. and all that, you know. So it was crazy. Like okay. I had to stretch. Every, like it was discipline. Like they had me getting up in the morning, yeah. like four a.m. Right. Get on the treadmill, work out, go just, back to sleep, eat a certain way, and then go learn how to fight. Just <laughs> like in the home. Yeah, yeah. It was real. It was real, right. man. I, and I really, uh, I really enjoyed it. So this is not your average comedy movie. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is real action comedy. More man. But if this is on the action. He's got a ton of energy, I'm telling you. You ain't gonna wanna, you ain't gonna wanna miss this film. So, uh, here's another one. Uh, are you looking to do more films like this? Yes. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. I, I definitely wanna do more films like this. Um, I, I've always liked the action movies and action films, and then I, I enjoy comedy as well. So, uh, I'm definitely gonna write more. Like, okay. with, with my comedy is gonna definitely have action. Like, cool. I guess more films to come. So. Oh, yeah. oh man, that's good to know. Yeah. So, so is there going to be a dance room too? Everybody wants a dance room. Everybody that's in our crew and who's on the set, they all want to party. Cool. So, and we've been tossing around ideas. Cedric's had a lot of ideas, so it will definitely uh, be a party. Cool. Yeah. So you hear that? Yeah. So when it comes out, y'all got to support this movie. This is going to yeah. be it. I told before. I told before. <laughs> all right, all right. We're not done yet, though. Yeah. Uh, Let's see. This is an important question. Okay. Where do you get your inspiration from? Mm. Mm. I'm gonna say it one more time. Where, are you Where does Kel Mitchell get his <laughs> inspiration from? Um, I, you know what? Really, I, I want to say I get my inspiration from uh, from Christ on a spiritual standpoint. I get it from Christ. Like I take I take my Bible to every session that I do, even uh, if it's voiceover work. My Bible comes with me. Uh, I feel like uh, God gives you ideas and creative power. Okay, and, uh, once you make yourself willing and obedient and take that in. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, he, will just have, he will give you the creativity, the ideas, and these characters to write. Dance food was definitely him and what me. Right, you know what right. He came up with that and put that through me, so I would definitely say uh, uh, that's my inspiration. Definitely. Definitely. Sweet, sweet. Uh, yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's always good to hear. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and another inspiration is to reach after, after that initial inspiration, it's to reach other. Uh, kids that might be watching my films the spread, and watching the things love. that I do and want to do it as well. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's just to, to show them like a young kid from the south side of Chicago uh, with a dream that actually came true. You know what I mean? And that same thing happened for them as well. well that's how spiritual law operates. Yes, yes sir. You receive yeah. and you have to share. So, right. hey, exactly. you on point, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. On point. Yeah. All right, all right. We're getting ready to, we're getting close to ending this. So, no problem, no problem. Um, Okay, what do you have going on in the future? What's in the future for Kale? <laughs> What's in the future? Definitely um, more animations. Uh, I'm uh, actually uh, putting together an animation uh, myself uh, with my uh, my fiance, uh, Asia Lee. And, okay. Uh, this this young man. Shout out to this, Asia Lee. This this one right here is crazy. It actually has martial arts in it as well. Oh. Uh, and is Asia is Asia gonna be doing some martial arts? Well, her character is doing martial arts okay. in the animation. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> animation, but this is a very very hot cartoon. It's gonna change the game as far as female heroes. It is off the chain. Comic Con is gonna go bananas when okay. they see what happens with this, but it's definitely dope. Yeah. Sweet. So we're working on that as well and doing more projects. Uh, there are more films coming out as well, too, so. Okay, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey KFM. I just need, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show, show this to y'all, all my KFM <laughs> fans. See this orange soda right here? I can't reveal it. Yeah, I'm going to just show this to you. So, Kel Mitchell, what's with the orange movement? <laughs> I've been seeing you on Twitter and you know Facebook. All over, Jimmy, yeah, you all over. Oh, yeah. It's orange thing. And you don't have it on today, but, no, but no, I didn't see much. Right? Okay. <laughs> okay. Right. What's with the orange movement? Um, the orange movement, it's on uh, Keenan and Kill. 
uh, it was this whole thing where my character was obsessed with orange soda. Ah, okay. And Ken used to take out orange soda, and it would just entice me to do whatever because he had orange soda. Gotcha. And uh, he just loved to drink it, my character. And there was a whole saying with it, kind of like how Arnold, you know, how he yeah. was talking about Willis. Right, right, It was right. like that whole saying, and I'm, I'm like, I do, I do, I do. That's this whole thing. <laughs> and uh, even as I do more and more films, that still goes on. Like, people still talks about talk about orange soda. Like I did a film, a very serious film, uh, with uh, Danny Glover. Okay. Yeah, and it was a John Sells film. I always wanted to work with John Sells. Right. Got a right. chance to do that in a film called Honey Dripper. Okay. And uh, it was it was me, uh, John Sells, uh, Charles Dutton. Okay. You okay. know, okay. dramatic wow. film. You know what I mean? And, and we're at the Q and A. Right. You know, after the screening, everybody's asking Danny and all these other guys, and all everybody serious questions. Right. And one guy gets up and he goes, "Hey, do you still love more soda?" <laughs> <laughs> and the whole place cracks up. And, right. uh, you know, so I know that's something that was a staple uh, for that show and for the 90s. Kids love it. You know, well, now adults, they love it as well. Cool. So I said, you know what? I want to get back. Uh, so I want to go see my fans. They brought my show back as well on Nickelodeon. Right, right. The whole 90s block called 90s or all that. So I said, I want to not only reach them on Twitter and on Facebook, but I want to see them. So we started the All Orange Everything Tour. Okay. Where you know how Diddy has his all white All white, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have an all orange party and everybody comes dressed in orange. Okay. You get to meet me. You know, we have a lot of contests and stuff like that. Gotcha, so gotcha. That's what's okay. going on. And you can get your 90s drink of choice uh, uh, t-shirts. On my oh, site, kelmitchell.net. Go check it out. Go get on my show. Promote it, promote it, Gotta man. do it, man. <laughs> kelmitchell.net. Yeah. Well, hey, Kel Mitchell, mm -hmm. I want to thank you so much, man, for the time. Thank you. Thank you. And the love. Um, KFMM, uh, just want to let you know that this guy's blowing up. Make sure you see the movie Dance Food. Uh, I'm grateful that, for the time that he shared with us. And I'll just leave it at KFMM, Kung Fu Movie Man is signing off. Yeah. Peace and Kung Fu. Kung Fu. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>